The Eiger, a beautiful yet formidable mountain renowned for its north face that fascinates climbers and the public alike. Many tragedies have unfolded on its north face that have made it into books and films. But luckily for climbers willing to take on the Eiger, there are more reasonable routes, such as those used by the first parties to reach its remote summit. The Eiger was first climbed in 1858, but the first time it was climbed by a woman was in 1864, and that woman was Lucy Walker. Of course, Lucy Walker is very well known for being the first woman to climb the Matterhorn, but her less known achievement is the Eiger here. Uh, she climbed this mountain in 1864, and of course it was very different then uh, to how uh, the mountain is climbed now. First of all, she climbed in a dress, and of course these days it's very difficult to climb in a, in a skirt because the modern harness makes it pretty much impossible to do that. And uh, after they climbed, uh, they, they reached the summit, they drank champagne and they yodeled the top of their voices. Well, champagne I will save for later, but yodeling, let's see if I can learn that on the way to the summit. The one thing I have in common with Lucy Walker is that I am also going with one of the best Swiss guides of the day. My guide, Danny Arnold, has climbed the Eiger North Face solo in less than two and a half hours and holds many other records. We will be taking the Mittelegi Ridge route, one of the most popular routes on the Eiger that was climbed for the first time in 1921. Our journey starts in a tunnel inside the Eiger. Today, we have to make it to the Mittelegi hut for an overnight stay. The journey should take about two and a half hours over the glacier and some rocks. We start walking, enjoying the great weather and the views, when suddenly, five minutes into it, We ran to find shelter by the wall, having come under a gunfire of rocks. We think it was a Sirac that collapsed at the top that came crashing down, sweeping thousands of bullet-like rocks with it. Luckily, we had helmets on. Nervous about what else could be up there, we make a big detour around the area as quickly as possible. But in the rush, I fell in deep snow and put a crampon through my leg and ripped my trousers. We continue and come across more dangerous-looking sracks and quickly pass them. Once on the rocks, we climb towards the hut. The Mittelegi hut sits on the narrow and exposed knife-edge ridge at 3,355 meters. It can host 38 climbers for the night. Still uneasy after the so-called welcome we received earlier, I spent some time looking at the Mittelegi ridge that we will climb in the morning. It is fascinating to look over the Eiger north face and down to Grindenwald. A beautiful sunset lights the Eiger in bright colors. It still seems unreal that I will be climbing this mountain tomorrow. With excitement and awe, I settle for the night. It gets light after a few hours of climbing. The Mittelegi Ridge is a committing climb with no room for turning back. It feels a lot harder than climbing the Matterhorn. Soon a beautiful sunrise lights up the sky and the Eiger and makes the climbing much more pleasant. There are many challenging sections on the route. The crumbly Eiger rock slopes downwards like roof tiles offering little in the way of handholds. There is also a thin coating of ice on the fixed ropes. And at one stage, we climb on the vertical north side of the ridge. After a few hours of serious rock climbing, we arrive on the long, razor-sharp summit ridge. The entire Mittelegi ridge is tremendously exposed from both sides. But here, it is ruthless. On the right-hand side is the 1,800-meter Eiger North Wall and on the left is a drop to the glacier underneath. This ridge leaves no room for mistakes. The Eiger translates to ogre in English, a mythical man-eating giant. Sometimes it feels like it can swallow you whole. So much so, I have to hold on to Danny 
in particularly demanding parts. We are lucky with the weather, but even so it's windy, forcing us to crouch down with each forceful gust. It might be a hard climb, but the views are spectacular. It simply takes my breath away to walk on the summit ridge of the Eiger. We arrive at the summit and it is an unforgettable moment. I think I know how Lucy Walker felt when she stood on the summit of the Eiger. We don't yodel, but we take a lot of pictures, congratulate other climbers and enjoy the incredible views. gets busy on the summit with other climbers arriving, so we begin the long descent down the south ridge. Getting off the Eiger is almost as hard as getting up it. We upsail a lot, taking long pitches one after another. There is only one way down, so we have to wait for other climbers to rappel in front of us, and it gets very cold. Then we continue upsailing, sometimes almost the entire rope length polished mountaineering skills are a must on the Eiger. Once we get down to the Eiger Joch, we have to climb again up the challenging connecting ridge. At this stage, I am so tired that I cannot wait for it to be over. After seven hours, the climbing is finally over. Exhausted, I look at the Eiger and hold back the tears. I know I will never forget this beautiful giant.